drink of water while we're waiting for this. I kind of prefer Oblivion because it doesn't take so long to tick down those hours. Oh, who are you? Did I kill you? I did. It's just been so long. Well, let's try to sell some shit, make some money, and maybe get some more training. Go, cast whoa, whoa, whoa. Magic Go fuck yourself. I'll cast my magic wherever I want. Hey, my does he? Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest you in some fine jewelry? What you got for sale? You see here. <laughs> I know I stole all that stuff from you earlier, but we can still be friends, right? Uh, let's see. How about this silver ring? You like that one, do ya? I don't think I have anything else that I'd like to give you. How's business? Not well, I'm afraid. That Brynjolf, he keeps draining the people's pockets with his ridiculous miracle cures. Yes, his cures. Two months ago, it was Troll Fatsav, and now he's got something new. Not that there's anything that can be done about it. He's in good with the Thieves' Guild. <laughs> that smile you have is kind of creepy. Landstrider. I like that no that uh, noise, I call it. Yeah, sure. I didn't know you were there. I would have given it to you earlier. Hey! Just what you say here, love. Okay, what you got? What you got for me? What are you buying? You buying all of it? Let's see, I got some of this. How much gold do you have? You have a bit. I was going to say, these are mine? Holy shit. I got so many potions. 200 potion? Jesus. Jesus. Keep your eyes to the Actually, what was that? Have anything you, wish to sell? you have an odd name for a dark elf. I may be dark elf by birth, but I was raised Argonian. Really? Well, any do you have any clues about your past? Just one. I know when I was found by my Argonian father, I was wrapped in a blanket bearing the symbol of House Kaldani. It was one of the great houses in Morrowind long ago. Whether that means I was one of them or not, I'm uncertain. If you come across anything in your travels that might provide me with the answers I'm looking for, I'd be grateful. Oh, you got it. I'll keep my eye open. Thank you. Hmm. Actually, I'm not familiar with this quest. Let's see, what else we got around here? What's this? The bee and the barb? I believe that is a... A N? Well, we could do one of these missions, I suppose. So she doesn't want me to do anything to her shrine, eh? Oh, hello. I have a message from Brynwolf. What does he want now? A baby. To him that you can't get blood from a stone. Let's see. Oh, you'll pay for more than just coin. Ha! We'll see about that. Get him. Let's do this. I'm pretty good at this. Take your damn coin and get out of here. Yep. Take this. Sorry about the mess. Keeping this place clean is quite a chore. <laughs> Will you get out of my way? You're a mess. God damn it. You're destroying the tension. Let's see what else we got here. I didn't mean to go in there. That was quite easy. Since I'm so good at hand to hand, I mean it's not really a problem at all, is it? Let's see. The Pond Prawn. What an interesting name. Hey there, friend. So, can I interest you in Take a look. Let's see what you've got. Or what you'll buy, anyway. How much money you have? Oh, you got tons of money. You know, I've been holding on to these for so long, but... I'll keep those. They'll still be worth a lot of money. <gasps> okay. Take this, and this, and this, and just watch all your monies and your troubles float away. Uh, aversion to shock. There you go. Now you have no money. <laughs> you know what I need? 
I need your money. <laughs> Some may call this junk. <laughs> That's not what I said. <laughs> what else you got for sale, by the way? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Uh, let's see. Destruction, restoration, alteration. Eh. Eh, it's all kind of butt. It's all kind of butt. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> That's one of the things right there, folks, that kind of pisses me off. Sometimes the dialogues don't work correctly with mouse, with the mouse, the mices. What? Oh, it's one of you people. You people? What the fuck does that mean? Don't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? The message is simple. You don't pay, bad things happen. Petty threats and fist-waving are not going to sway me. You people are all talk. And everyone knows it. You demand payment for protection. And you can't even protect yourself. We can protect ourselves, trust me. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. Some ignorant bullshit. I think you need to shut your goddamn mouth. I'm going to make you sorry for this. Uh-huh. Come on. Never should have come. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. He didn't even touch me, son. Please, no more. I'll pay. I'll pay. Here. Give me that paper. Okay, he already paid me, I guess. I'm a natural at this thieves' guild business. No wonder he saw something in me, right? Never seen the old is upset about it. Let's see. Are you a trainer for Smith? Come to see Balaman. What brings you to Balaman? You can. You wish to do what I do? Very well. Hmm. Tempting, actually. I'm actually wondering what I should put my money into. <laughs> I mean, smithing definitely is worthwhile, folks. Don't get me wrong. Hmm. I think I'll save my money for speech, because I'm not making enough money. Nothing like the smell of a white hot blade. After I got tons of money, then I can worry about everything else, right? And here's our last place right here. The bee and the barb. People of Riften, heed my words. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. This is one of the signs. Signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and embrace the teachings of the handmaiden of time. No, no, ah, what do you think you're doing? Shut your whore mouth! <laughs> you better run. Hey, who's doing that? Hey! Stop it. We were having a friendly dispute. Stop blocking, you coward. Stop blocking. Man, you're good with that blocking. Oh, aren't you a fancy one? Oh, of course, now you swoop in. He's punching her sword. Aren't you cute? He must be an essential character because I can't kill him. Okay, that was fun. I was just asserting my dominance. I gotta wonder still. What's the difficulty at right now? Okay, it is an adept. I just wanted to make sure. Well, that was way too easy. Either way. I'm just gonna make your day even better. I got a message from Brynwolf or Brynjolf. Everything was all just a misunderstanding. I didn't mean to tell Brynjolf to go jump off the pit. <laughs> you tell him I'm sorry, yes? Nope. Take this. Every single coin I owe is there. I swear it. Is it? We've all heard of the dragon. I guess that's all of it. You know, that whole sequence we had before, that was her dream. As soon as I walked through the door, she had like a, a vision, essentially, of what could happen if she pissed off this man. And then she just gave it to me. 
curse bloosh. I say, hup, hup, hup. I guess I can't go up this way. I tried. Oh, God. <laughs> Good night. Okay. Here we go. I actually went down there, you know, as a shortcut. Didn't exactly work out that way. All right, Thieves Guild, I'm coming for you. I've done your little task. Yeah, nice and easy to get to him now. Take a left. And there you go. I, I'm, I'm pretty pleased that they weren't upset that I, you know, killed all the people that were standing outside the ragged flagon. But, you know. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. Oh, shut it. So, job's done, and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. But I did it clean? Bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. <laughs> yeah, I just beat the fuck out of them. Anyway, here's what they owe us. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Money? Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. What are they? A draught of health and a draught of light feet. I'm not exactly sure what that does. What's next then? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeeper, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. Okay. If there's more <laughs> if there's more gold where that came from, I'm in. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Oh, before you go, before we go, I have to ask. What's on your mind? Uh, where does your outfit? Let's see. Where does your outfit isn't doing too well? At least that's what the merchants say up top. Is that true? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough. Fair enough. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me, and I'll show you what we're all about. All right. Let's see. I can't remember this quest line, so I'm going to make a big save right here. How are we doing for time? It is now 10:30 where I am. After you talk to Brinyol for mercy, come back and see me. Are we going? Let me show you the operation. <laughs> come on, sweetheart, get out of his way. Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. I'll be good. I guess. Let's see, we need a orb of light in here, I think. He's following. Is he far? I know I'm coming. Go. Go. Say enchanting wouldn't be a bad thing to put some points into also, but now I think the first thing we need is more money. Are we going? Come <laughs> on, we going? And of course he's all keep following me. Like a dumbass. There you are. He's following. Is he following? <laughs> you want me to lead the way or what? Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. Better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brignol. Of course he can buy me. Before we continue, I want to make one away. thing perfectly clear. But I heard you loud and clear. Play by the rules. You walk away rich. Break the rules and you lose your share. No debate, no discussion. What we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? I guess. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Quill, are you? Even our little vets couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brignol will provide you with the details. Do I need to punch him? Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. 
assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us when you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Don't I get a present? And I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. Give me a present. Let's see. So I get a cut of the spoils, right? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin Mallory and Vex. They know that we're around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Camellia and the Flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Cool. Well, we'll go get our new armor first. Tell me about this Golden Glow job. Golden Glow Estate is a DFAR. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouthed wood elf named Aragog. Elves. We need you to teach him a lesson. Her elves, I should say. The estate's hides and clearing out the safe in the main house. What's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Uh, can I just punch him? I'll I'll run him off. I won't kill him. All right. Well, that's cool. Thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. So, what should I do about Arangoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive, but he tries to stop you from getting the job done. Kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. Eh, I may muck it up. Let's see, how do I destroy beehives? They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. Hmm. Why not just level the entire estate? Make it easy. I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. I see. She'd burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar metering, which would cut into her profits. I see. Okay, well that makes sense. Is Maven this influential client? an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipment. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. Let's see, how dangerous is it to cross her? Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the fourth era in prison. Oh, who knows how long that's going to be. Any more details on Golden Glow? Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. Then out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry to put it kindly. So we send him Vex and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Mercenaries, not Riften Guards? Aye. Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. It's an island? I didn't even know that. Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. Okay, I'll do that. Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. You already told me that. All eyes are on you, Black. They're on me? Oh man, there's all kinds of fun stuff in here. Wow! Can't believe I can just take this stuff. Fall from glory. What's this about? Ah, oh, the Thieves Guild. We'll go ahead and take that. Sure, why not? Thief of Virtue. Uh-huh. I'll take that too. I'm not sure if I'm going to make a library or anything, but hey, I like getting all this stuff. Golden Glow was this. This Golden Glow estate situation is getting out of hand. This is a Br oh, this is, yeah, it's to Brynwolf. I want you to find someone capable of taking care of it. Maven Blackbriar is breathing down my neck and I can't have that right now. Send Vex if you have to, but I want it handled immediately. Possible rivals. Brynwolf, I'm certain that there's some kind of rival thieves guild manifesting itself up here in Windhelm. As soon as things settle down with your own, why don't you send someone there to investigate? I think you'll... I think... 
I think you'll find that I can open quite a few doors for the guild once you've reestablished themselves up there. Or yourselves up here. Remember, friends are difficult to come by these days. Don't disappoint me. Hmm. I wonder who that's from. Did I actually go to the next page? No, that's all. Take that mead and the wine. No, oh, damn it. I was trying to look in the dresser, but oh well. What's in the guild chest? Anything good? More awesome stuff. Man. It's like it's my goddamn birthday. Orcish arrows. God damn it, game. Shadow marks. Surprised this one in the skill book, considering the price. What is that? Thieves Guild Gloves. What do these do? Thieves Guild Gloves. Lockpicking is 15% easier. Fantastic. What are those Thieves Guild Boots? What do those do? I was going to say, lockpicking is easier. Pickpocketing is easier with these boots. They can't even hear you creep up behind them. Get some more gold and whatnot. There's still chests in here. More Blackbriar Reserve. Apparently that's what they pay the Thieves Guild in, this liquor. Mm-hmm. More Alto Wine. They have an Alchemy Lab down here. Not bad, folks. Not bad. Let's see what else you got for me. I actually wanted to do something. Business ledger? What? Hmm, a roll of paper. Let's see, we have some free swords if I want them. Not really. Nightingale's fact or fiction, huh? I'll take that. I was hoping that I could get... You know what? I could probably just go talk to that one person. Wanted to say something. Okay, let's go get our new armor, because that's what I'm really interested in. What? This is not what I wanted. This isn't what I asked for. Hey, let's talk a sec. Nope. I need to go back to the Ragged Flag and get my armor. Because as you may have noticed, the Thief Guild stuff has enchantments on it. Some of them are quite handy, especially to me. I think you're the one. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. Oh yeah. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of the guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. I'm not. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Then we understand each other. Good. I didn't even say anything. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. Uh, what sort of business? I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Any idea why? Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. I see. In my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. Well, there's no luck stat in this game, so it can't be that. So what can we do? You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start feeling it like they did long ago. They feared the Thieves Guild? What? You're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? I don't think anyone really feared the Thieves Guild. I think they th thought they were neat. <laughs> Let's see. Armor? Armor? Where the fuck's the armor? Hey, I still have plenty of work to do here. Where is the armor? Hmm. That's the beehives. Let's see. Where's that goddamn armor? I think it was Mercer Fay. Fortunately, I cannot toggle those. Hmm. you run a job for me nope hey where do you think you're going away nope 
Wait, this isn't where I was supposed to go. Nope. 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 I don't want to piss them off. That'll make them hostile. Where the fuck? Oh, here it is. <laughs> of course, I accidentally ran to the vaults. I'm sure I could survive there, but I'd rather not go in there and piss off the Thieves Guild before we even do a single mission. I still would look, like to know where that fucking armor is. Where's this Mercer dude? Hey, good to see you. Nope. Mercer? Hey, there he is. Actually, I just want to know about the Golden Glow Estate. You know, one reason you guys are failing is because you're such fucking dicks. I'd like to know why you're wasting time asking about Because I'm also a fucking dick. Go fuck yourself. I want my stuff. I know it's around here somewhere. It's probably in a dresser. I want to talk to you. You want to talk to me? Now. Okay, what is it? You're pretty tough. I respect that. Bringing in a lot of coin for the guild. Making us look good, too. Let me know if you need anything. Are you part of a bandit clan or something? I joined up with them maybe ten years ago. Small clan, maybe twenty men. We'd raid villages, rob caravans. But it was always about the killing for them. Hmm, but not for you? Don't get me wrong. The first few years with that clan were some of the best years of my life. All the food I could eat, all the wine I could drink, and all the women I could bed. Hmm, so it changed. We raided a caravan one spring. I think it was a few wagons with some farmers moving to a new village. They didn't put up much of a fight. All that was left were the women and the children. Then the leader of our clan, Garthek, he ordered us to kill the rest. I see. You've never had to do that before? No. We usually let them go. I refused to do it, and Garthek ordered the clan to kill me as well. Luckily, I had made some friends with the clan who immediately sided with me. We tore each other to pieces. After it was over, those of us that remained simply went our separate ways. Ha. Huh. And, uh, Garg? Gartek? I left his head on a pike at the wreckage of the caravan. Never knew what became of the rest of the clan that survived. I suppose they moved on just like I did. I don't see the symbolism of uh, leaving his head on the pack of if everyone was dead, but oh well. Go and fix Neat. Fight. Don't tell me my business. Let's see, there's got to be some around here somewhere in these end tables or in a dresser. I mean, I found those boots and the gloves by a bedside. It's, that's just a chest. Cupboard? Leather strips are always good. I'll take all of them, damn it. Uh, charcoal. No, I don't think any of, th any of that is worthwhile. Damn it, I just want the hood. Give me a goddamn hood. I was supposed to be able to talk, of, talk to somebody about the armor, and of course the chat's still down, so I'm sure some of you are just yelling, it's Vax has it, or something like that. Let's see, Rune. I've never seen anyone with skills like yours. I just wanted to let you know that if you need anything, you can talk to me. That's all right. Well, I just need some armor, but that's fine. Let's see, what are these? Throwing knives? I'm not exactly sure what those are supposed to be. I can't pick them up. What is this? Rune. I've used every source at my disposal, and I can still can't find any trace of your parents. Whoever they are, they've completely erased themselves from history. This is quite a feat considering the quality of my sources. If I come up with anything else, I'll be certain to contact you. Athel Newberry. Huh. I see. Well, I'm sure we'll learn more about him later. Yeah, I guess I have a minute. What do you want? I want a hood, damn it. Oh, piss. Now, of course, I can't get this magic out of my hand. Get out of my hand. Thank you. Hmm. 
Well, let's go talk to Vex again, I suppose. Since I can't get any goddamn armor from this dick. Yeah, get my armor, dick. Want it. Want my armor. You guys have hidden it. I'll head back this way, see if Vex can give me that shit.